Hey, what is up guys? Today I have a video, I'm going to show you how to um, make your Roblox Studio games more realistic, have more a realistic effect to it rather. It's quite easy to do, it's really simple and it makes a massive difference. So, um, first thing we want to do um, to make it realistic, if you don't have it already, go into the Explorer over here, we're going to go into Lighting. Okay, we're going to go down to these Appearances, we're going to go Global Shadows, we're going to tick that, okay? Adds a a larger range of shadows to everything. If you, I think it's already on on most people's, but it's not usually on on mine. Come to technology, right? We're gonna go to voxel. And we're gonna change that to shadow map. So you can see now, shadow map really increases the shadows, like a direct sun, direct lighting from the sun coming down. And so if you, if you, if you have a moving sun, right, the shadows would change to the way the, the sun's going down, which is really nice um, for those type of games. And you can see we can change the shadow softness um, and all that sort of stuff. Brightness here, if you're you know, really out in the desert, you might want to bump that up a bit. Um, just play around with these and you, you'll find the, the right realistic um, lighting for whatever scene you're in. So I just made this little scene here. We're in a river. Um, obviously, that's a bad color for a river. And while you're, you're not actually in the game, you can't really um, see the water properly. So uh, we're going to go into terrain over here. So the river water is, it's more of like a pasty, pasty color, like I'd say like that maybe. Click, click OK. Water reflectance, um, river water, maybe 0 0.85. Transparency, fresh water is really clear. So we'll put that at 0 0.9. Um, Water wave size, I mean, it's a river, there's not that many waves, so I reckon 0 0.1 seems appropriate. The speed, like, again, if you're in, like, uh, a really windy area, and if you're in the ocean, you'd, you'd bump both of those up, you know, because it's, that's the sort of stuff it is. Just these little things make your game, just give it that much more effect, you know what I mean? Okay, so everything should be good. We're gonna jump into um, F5, which is uh, play or test mode. And we'll see how that works. So you can see our water looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. Um, it's quite a good f effect we've going on. We might just change, um, we're gonna change the water a little bit. Change that color. Let's see what we can get. So, let's see. Let me look at ready color. Let's see. Get that up a bit. The brownie, brownie color would look really good. How's that? See, look, we've made the water brown, and like, it looks really nice. It still looks really nice, just even though we've made it brown, because it's the type of um, water, you know, fresh water. It's not, it's not like, you know, if you're in a tropical island, you'd, you'd put it up to like there, and if you're in like a, you know, a haunted house, you might put it red or. You know, you, you, radioactive water could be green or, you know, whatever you want. It's, it's all, um, it's again, it's all relative based on what you're building. So we're going to close out of that. Now to add some effects and some sun rays and bloom effects to really give it that edge. So if your computer or your, your device isn't that powerful, um, it, this could make it lag quite a bit. Cause this is what it does. So you want to come to the uh, toolbox, and you want to type in realism. And there's quite a few mods you can use, or you can make your own if you really know how to do it. But I'm going to grab this third one here, realism mods, with three votes. We're going to click that. So you can see that it changes our background automatically to this, oh, like a ocean. Really nice reflective ocean, but we can't really see it because I've surrounded ourselves by um, trees and rocks. So we're going to take these three things it gives us, realistic bloom, realistic color correction, and realistic sun rays. We're going to go cut and take them out of our workplace, and we're going to paste them into lighting with this guy that it gave us. Now we're going to click F5 and have a look at that and see the difference it makes from when we first um, started uh, changing all these settings. So you can see instantly we've got these sun rays coming down right on top of us. If we look up, it's really bright. It's trying to make it through the trees like it would in real life. So we jump into first person and you can see everything's got this really nice light effect on it. The, the water is reflecting really well. If you zoom out, you can see down here, we've got a nice reflection coming off the, the mountain up in here. You can see if we change that, 
can see it reflects really nicely. And we've got like a really like bluey tinge to it, which is what we want. And if we come into water, we'll angle our camera down a bit. You can see it even goes through the water. Like if we're looking up like this, we're swimming down, it turns our body into a shadow as well. You can see we've got a shadow underneath us while we're swimming. So that's really, really nice. And I'll show you another example of uh, like where, jump over here to this one, okay? So this is my little build I did. Um, you might have seen me speed build it. This is uh, like a like an aqua island. You know, you're in you're in like the Caribbean or the Whit Sundays, uh, depending on if you're in Australia or American or wherever. Somewhere really nice. You know what I mean? So we've made this quite um, densely populated island with all our trees and shrubbery and kept kept the scene quite realistic. We haven't added any added any like cartoony trees. Like if you go into view. Uh, toolbox and you, you, see, you see tree like you can you can free model this you don't need to make all these realistic trees but say we grab something like this if we added um, this big tree in the middle of our realistic stuff you see that that doesn't it doesn't match you know it's got a nice shadow to it but it just is a cartoony and cartoony doesn't really work with, with realism so we'll get rid of that we've, we've stuck to this nice you know thin it's more or less um, like meshes and stuff like that. There is a few ones that have blocks in it, but um, you'll see most of them are just meshes. And if we look up here, you can see where the sunlight is trying to break through our, our little tree um, leaf scape up there. So that's kind of what we wanted. And you can see that I've made the, the water, you know, bigger waves because um, it is the ocean. And I've set the reflectance uh, quite high and so is the water transparency. So we could almost see like about uh, 20 meters visibility in this water, which is which is what we want. And we've made these coral. Some of them stick out of the water. You know, I don't know if you've ever been to these like reefs and stuff, but we do have some corals that do stick out of the water. So we've, we've done that really nicely. And if we come on an angle like this, you'll see the sun perfectly reflects off all our little, you know, water and, and stuff like that. And from far back, you might not even be able to tell this is the Roblox game which is you know, what we're aiming for with this video to, to make your, your games have more realism in it. So that's pretty much it. Just those, um, just those tips will help you a lot, you know? Just adding these effects, changing that lighting, making sure the water and the terrain um, matches the scene that you're making. Um, keeping, keeping everything... If you add something non-cartoon, again, we'll, we'll just grab this tree for an example. This is a cartoony tree, it's something you'd see in like uh, Lumber Tycoon or one of those games. Um, it's not going to give your game the effect that you want. But one of the problems is with these games, again, your players, your players might be like 10, 12 years old that don't have you know, gaming computers and you know they're, they're not going to be able to play the game like efficiently or fun. They'll have their graphic settings down to about one like this and this is what they'll see. like. I mean, they won't really know, but, you know, what are you going to do? So that's just some tips to, to make your game more realistic. You know, it's, it's easy tips. Easy tips. Um, and once you get the hang of it, you know, just making sure everything's... You, you, your water's fine, all that sort of stuff. It's It makes your game so much more better. So thanks for watching. Uh, if this did help you, like, just comment. Say, man, this helped. And recommend me some more videos to do. You know, I'm not I'm not the best at Roblox Studio, but I do know some stuff about it. Um, and I will be happy to make any tutorials and, and learn what I need to teach you guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys probably for a live stream or next video I make. See you later.